morning everybody welcome to Neath on this freezing cold morning um today i'm doing a little project i'm going to show you what it is i've wanted for a while now to get a hedgehog house but i think they're, they're so expensive i think they're about 50 quid so i've been thinking right i'm going to make one i know i'm going to be able to pick something up and make one so i want to show you what i picked up yesterday if i can figure out how to turn the camera around probably not so this my auntie is currently having a new shower room fitted and this is what she's getting rid of so this is her old cupboard from underneath the sink so i looked at it and i thought that would make an amazing hedgehog house because what i'm gonna do is this my plan is I'm going to turn it this way round so that it's like that and then I'm going to make this wider I'm going to get a handsaw now and just make this a bit wider because I think you'd have to be a pretty skinny hedgehog to get into there watch out the way Babs Lily watch out the way go on then out the way and then I'm going to lift these two up and put like a piece of timber down the middle to hold them as a roof shape and then I've got some old plastic roofing, which I've got left over. There's a bit by there. I've got little bits of plastic roofing like this left over from when I did the chickens, which I'm hoping I'm going to put along the top and then put some outdoor weatherproof paint on it and it should be good to go. What I really like about it is, is that it's completely sealed all the way around, as you can see. So it's completely sealed. And it's even got a base, which I know is not going to last long outdoors, but it's better than nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and saw this. I still haven't figured out how to do that amazing, clever editing where you can like fast forward when you're sawing and stuff. So I'm afraid that all I'm going to do is pause and then come back to it. Right, that's the doorway done. I've ended up... Um, taken off the base because it didn't quite wouldn't saw with the base on it so I've taken that off so here's the doorway so my plan is that I will be covering that like this just so that it looks tidy from the outside I'm going to crack on now with the roof and then come back to you it only needs to be a um, slight fall on the roof so it's not going to be majorly high so all I've done is literally cut a piece of timber to fit and now I'm going to screw that screw the roof down onto that piece of timber so that then I can fit the plastic sheets and the plastic sheets literally just have to have a slight angle so the hedgehogs don't get soaked I'm just going to try um screw in these final two screws so I thought while I'm doing this I may as well show you how I actually do it so I've just got an ordinary drill driver you have it on setting number one and on the drill setting not the hammer setting when you're going to put screws in and then basically I like to use gold screws because it's going to be outside as well you want screws that are um, galvanized so that they're not going to get wet and rust away and then it's just a case of literally get your screw ready Gently put it where you want to go. Start turning it gently till you can feel that it's got a purchase on it. And then with slight pressure, screw it in. I'll just do the other side. And that's the roof pretty much done. I'll show you that. As you can see, I just got four screws holding it on. Doesn't need to be held on too tight and doesn't need to look that pretty either because obviously it's going to have plastic roofing over the top of it now. But that would 
that'll do the job. I'm going to just put the front piece on now. Now I'm going to do this piece by hand with a screwdriver only because this is really thin and I don't need to have tons and tons of pressure behind it. So I'm just going to gently screw in these two sides. So there we go, we've got the basic, the basic shape now. So now I'm going to just put the plastic roofing sheets on. Not quite sure how I'm going to cut them yet, but <laughs> that's going to be fun and games. This is the plastic roofing sheet I've got. So obviously it doesn't matter about the damage because uh, I'll be cutting that off. And this is just left over from when I did my chicken run. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to cut this in half without it cracking. And then once I've figured out a good way of doing it, I'll come back and show you what I've done. I managed to cut it with a pair of scissors. Now, what I found is when you're cutting it widthways, this way, as long as you follow the groove up and down with the scissors, it won't crack. So it's not too bad at all. Now, the only thing I haven't figured out is cutting it lengthways. <laughs> cutting it lengthways with scissors, um, it just cracks. But because of what it's for, it doesn't really matter. That it's cracked a little bit so looking at it from the front I think that'll keep the hedgehogs nice and dry I'm just about to uh, tack the roof on now to tap the roof on obviously I don't want to use I won't screw it because I don't want to crack the roof and I don't want to use like really big nails so what I'm doing is what the base of the cupboard the tiny tacks that are in that I'm just pushing them out. Luckily, the base is, is damp, so they just come out quite easy. I'm just going to use, reuse these, basically, to hold the roof on. Right, they're all tacked in. So I'm literally, I hope you can see, just put the little tacks in. The only difficult bit, as you can see, I split this bit, was going through the two in the centre. But... I, they've got to be overlapped in the centre really otherwise it'll just be soaking wet through there so I'm just hoping I may have to just patch over that one little bit but apart from that that's pretty good but to make it look a bit more rustic now I thought I'll add on I've got some old fence panels here look from where all our fence collapsed so I thought I'd just put some of them onto the front like that, like cladding. So I literally just tapped them on, as you can probably see. But it means when I put this in the garden now, it'll just fit in a bit more than it being bright white. Oh, it's cold. I found what I think is the perfect spot for it. The birds are quite interested in it. So right here, So it's got a fence at the back and it's surrounded on all sides so it should keep it quite snug. So I'm just going to go to my leaf pile now, get a load of leaves and pack it all in, see what happens. There it is, my little homemade hedgehog house. I just put leaves all around the outside, put some leaves inside and I've put loads around the entrance and all around the sides and the back. So hopefully a hedgehog will think that looks like a comfortable prospect. I'll keep a, keep an eye each day now, see if any of the leaves have moved outside, see if there's been any activity. But it may be that I just won't know if anything lives in there, but if anything does is looking for a new home in this freezing cold weather, they should be quite happy if they find that. Right, what do you want? I'm coming. Thank you for watching. Don't know what my next project's going to be yet, but I am keen to start. I can't wait for the spring to come because obviously there's loads to do then. So I better go because he's waiting. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Bye.